What's going on guys this is Miron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a password generator in PHP this password generator concept can be integrated with the user registration application which I already show you by the way check the previous video so in the user registration application we prompt the user to enter their password which by the way is not a good practice because user may enter such a password which can be easily guessed and crack by the other so it's better to generate the password for the user from our own application the generator password is more secure than the user enter password so that's why we call this application as a password generator so let's do it first of all you need to have a couple of application in order to start this tutorial the first one is server application you can use any server application like warm server or jam server we need server application because php is server side scripting language in order to execute the php script you need to have a server application in your local computer and the second one is text editor you can use any text editor i am using atom and the third one is web browser i am using firefox now let's start it open up your text editor go to file click on new file and then control s save this inside the warm server and then www and then you your folder i'm using this folder and the file name is pass generator dot php now html we are going to uh, design a simple UI. I'm not going to use any CSS here. And inside this body tag, I'm going to use one table. Inside table, I'm going to use table row, table data. Inside this table data, I'm going to use form. So here, form. I'm not going to use class. Uh, uh, and again not going to use this action i am going to use only method is post and inside this form i am going to write input type is equal to text name is equal to result value is equal to leave it and i am going to use break another input type here go checkbox and name is chk1 value is 6 and here 6 character and i'm going to use another break input type is equal to checkbox name is equal to chsktw2 value is equal to 8 sorry 10 and here goes 10 character and another break input type is equal to checkbox name is equal to three value is equal to 12 here goes 12 character br input type is equal to submit button name is equal to generator value is equal to generate and inside the body uh, what i am going to do is i am going to align this table to center align Line center and i'm going to use one more table row here table data and here goes s1 tag s1 tag and i'm going to write here password generator save it open your browser and here goes localhost and then your folder name and then your file name 
there you go this is our simple ui now when the user click this generate we are going to generate the password over here and display eight character password and when the user click this six character we are going to display only six character password and similar for 10 and 12 now write the php script now here php and here if it said dollar underscore post and here goes the index name that is submit button name then if this button is click what we are going to do is we are going to first of all i am going to write a simple uh, generator and then we are going to write the code for this checkbox so here i am going to define on a string result is equal to null and then another string that contain alphanumeric character valid character is equal to a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z in capital b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z and then number seven eight nine and then uh, i'm going to use a while loop while and the condition is zero is less than i'm going to define on variable with the length length is equal to eight and here length minus minus And inside this while loop what I am going to do is I am going to concatenate this string result so result dot is equal to dot dollars and valid character and I am going to uh, index uh, use index in this uh, valid character string so I'm going to generate a random number rndm random underscore int I'm going to use this function and then inside this function I'm going to use the minimum value 0 and the maximum value is length of this valid character string so str len str this function return the length of this valid character variable string length so str len valid character and then uh, I'm going to this valid character uh, return the length of this string but the index is start always start from 0 so we need to do minus 1 here and we need to display this result in this text box so here goes PSP sorry php and then echo it result the save it refresh it oh so we got some error here undefined variable so look at our file here first of all here is our extra list and sign and I'm going to remove this value and save it and refresh it there you go there is our error so what I can do is I can use PSP and then echo dollar result and semicolon control s refresh 
Oops, there is undefined variable result, but we have already defined it here and here also. So what I am going to do is I am going to use this add sign, Control S, save it, and when we click on generate, this generated password must be displayed in text box. So click on generate. There you go. There is eight character password. Now what we are going to write in PSV file is when I click this six character checkbox and click on generate I am going to generate only six character and when I click this 10 character checkbox I am going to generate 10 characters. Now in order to do so what we can do is we can use if else statement and copy this entire code from here to here and paste inside is PSV if else block uh, which we should not do because this may lead into the duplication of code so what we can do is we can create a separate function and call that function in if else so here what i am going to do is i am going to create one function and function name is pass generator and i am going to define this function with the parameter length and inside this function i am going to copy this whole code and paste inside uh, this function and inside this button click what i can do is i can again check if the checkbox is checked or not so if is set dollar underscore post and the name of this checkbox is chk one chk chk one and here what i can do is i can call this function password generator and the length is 6 and here else if is set dollar underscore post and the name of the another checkbox is csk two and the call this function again pass generator and the length is 10 and else if is set dollar underscore post here goes csk3 and here goes pass generator password generator and the length is 12 otherwise if the user uh, did not select any of the checkbox what we can do is we can uh, display the default password length that is of length 8 pass generator and the length is 8 just save it and again run it now when i uh, did not select any checkbox and click on generate oops here i forget one thing here i need to define one variable result is equal to empty string and in order to use this variable inside the function what i need to do is i need to remove this code also and here i need to use global keyword global global dollar and then that variable name and uh, we should not assign here that's it now refresh it and 
click on generate i get eight length character password which is secure password and when i uh, check this six character and click on generate i must get six length character you can count here one two three four five six and when i check this 10 character and click on generate i must get 10 character of password and when i select this tubel character and click on generate i get tubel character password so that's it in this uh, video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about this amazing tutorial and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel so subscribe this channel and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye